talk to another man of another nation like a white man japanese man chinese man they gonna be able to clear give you accurate uh information of where they come from even trace their family back to dynasties but with us you said i say i'm black african-american and myself too i would have said the same thing if i would have came up before understanding who i actually was let me read something to you let me read this prophecy that you just fulfilled read, read now the book of jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 and thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage Lord said, you shall discontinue, even thyself shall discontinue of your heritage. Now, how did that happen? Let's keep reading, read. That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. Right, so how did me and you lose our uh, inheritance? Because he said, I will carry you to a land that you don't know. I will carry you to your enemy's land, and you shall serve them. And through the process of 400 years, sis, what do they do? You see roots. Toby, your name is not uh, Kuta Kite anymore, it's Toby, right? They beat our heritage out of us, but that's a Bible prophecy. It was prophesied to happen, but why? Why did that happen to me and you? Why did this happen to me and you? Nobody else can say that this history right here matches up with their history. 400 years of slavery, everything that you look out on every day you drive, every state that you go to, every, wherever you go, Chicago, uh, LA, all these nice places, our ancestors built those places wow. off free labor. So why did that happen? Well, how did we build up the entire economy of America and we don't reap no benefits of it? Out. Right? Read Deuteronomy 28, 15. Let's find out why. Right? Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Huh? But it shall come to pass if thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So, just like it said, you lost your inheritance of who you are, and you will come up and say, I'm black. I'm African American. By the way, what? He said, he said, it shall come to pass. Yeah. Moses is dealing with the Israelites. And he's giving them a future prophecy of something that's going to befall them if they don't what? Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day. So the children of Israel were always, for generation upon generation upon generation, were always supposed to keep the commandments of God. But if they did not, we already read Jeremiah 17 and 4. But since you didn't obey, you will lose who you are in these last days. So us children, children, who we are today, we don't have no understanding of who we are. That prophecy has been fulfilled. When you came up and said that, now in your mind, you gotta think, well, damn, I never even read that in the Bible. I didn't even know that it was certain things like that uh, that uh, fulfill certain people, nationalities, you would say. Read. To observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee. Right. Don't you think that's a curse? To not understand who you are, that everybody in the world have their own language, have their own land. We don't even have a land. We don't even have our own language. The language that me and you are speaking right now, English, is our second language. That's not our actual language of our ancestors. So then you got to think, what land do we come from? Everybody else is living it up. They got their own armies, uh, their own festivals, and different things like that. All the festivals and things that we keep of other white men or any other nation that we learn. So when it's talking about losing inheritance, it's not just talking about your name, your land. It's talking about everything. Your name, your land, your customs, everything. We lost all that. Now you tell me, let me ask you a quick question. What other nation can say that that happened? Nobody. Exactly. So who is he actually talking to? It's speaking to us, the 12 tribes of Israel. My sister, you will be an Israelite because you just fulfilled the prophecy. You just came up with like, you know, black African American. Absolutely not. Let me tell you, you got to be around 76. You are a special vessel that the Lord has chosen to have rulership on this earth. 
right? That's who we are. That's why we disconnected from who we was, because the Lord gave us everything, but he said if you disobey, the curses will come upon you. But when those curses is us losing everything, right? Read that. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen me to be a special people. The Lord thy God has chosen you to be a special people. So in doing so, what did the Lord do? He gave us guidelines. He gave us commandments, statutes. Because I put my name on you, and I ain't dealing with no other nation. You have a protocol that you must keep for Bring me up. to bless you on this earth. Read right. Deuteronomy 28, uh, 28 and verse 1. Bring it up. Because this is the flip side. The flip side, he said, if you disobey, I'm going to give you curses, right? And what happened to you? When you when you disobeyed your mother and father, what happened to you? You got, hey, you got that ass whooped. That's what happened, right? So it's the same thing with God. He said, y'all are my children. I have chosen you. I put my name on you. Hey, if y'all act a certain way, and y'all don't, what, change your ways? Because as a kid, you got that ass whooped. You did what? All right, let me get it right. Because I don't want to go in the back room. When that door gets shut, there's going to be a lot of loud noise you're going to hear, right? So it's the same thing with the Lord. These things didn't just happen to us because of no reason. We didn't go into 400 years of slavery for no reason, Bring it up. right? It happened because of a reason. They just said, you are a holy people. But since you are holy, read, read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 1. Uh -huh. And it shall come to pass if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So this is the flip side. If you don't obey, you get cursed. But if you listen and keep the commandments, right? Read. To observe and to do all his commandments, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that ought that the Lord thy God will set thee high above all nations of the earth. So now we know why we at the bottom. We at the bottom because we disobeyed. But if we continue to keep the commandments, generation upon generation, and we were supposed to be set on high. This things like this is gonna happen, right? You all you do understand the Christ is right? You know, you know, you know what you say, yeah? Okay, uh, okay. I like the confidence, I like the confidence. But things like this when they happen. Our depictions are uh, things like this being changed. You see uh, Birth of Christ or um, any religious movie that was made back in then. They always depict the people to be white. But we know of today that the Jews or Israelites to us, we are dark skinned people. I mean, look at this. Even the Northern Kingdom, the so called, the so -called Hispanics and the so called Native Americans, they dark. Now, through the way of, you know, slavery and rape, that we got lighter, but they all have been dark skinned people. Let me get you that real quick. Let's show you the picture of what the Jews were. Read. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 14, verse 2. Judith mourneth in the gates there of language. They are black unto the ground. And the and the cry of Jerusalem is gone up. up. All right, so that was that was uh that was Jeremiah. He was prophesied there was a famine going on in the land. He said, they are black unto the ground. They are black unto the ground. Now give me that in Genesis, the first, Adam and Eve. They were black people. So this is a lie according to the Bible. The, the Jews that we, the Jewish that you see today, those are not either, those are not us. They, they are basically lying about who they are. They have stolen because, remember I said earlier, you lost your inheritance, right? So if you don't know who you are no more, our inheritance was taken. It was taken by the so-called Jewish, the so-called Edomite man. Because if you don't know who you are, they go, hey, you know what? These niggas don't know who they are. I'm, a, I'm going to claim their uh, nationality. I'm going to claim their inheritance. And that's what we see it happen today. But when we read through the Bible, we start to understand that is a lie. Because they don't match up with the curses, and they don't match up with the prophecies of the Bible, that they are the true people. Right? That would be you. You are an Israelite according to the Bible. The Lord has chosen you to be a special vessel. The Lord has chosen you to be above all other nations. But we must do what? Keep the commandments. So, if somebody asks you your nationality again, what would you say? You are Israelite, right? And you're going to say, I read in the Bible, my, my history, because why did this happen? Let's get that real quick. So, I'll, I'll, I'll get that real quick. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Look, we already read Jeremiah, but I want to make sure that it's locked and sealed in your mind. That this, you, okay, this, I'm gonna get this last one for you, all right? So dude, one, one question, do you believe that our, um, the way we got over here, do you think that's prophesied in the Bible? You ain't even gotta do that, I got you, I got you, read. Read the Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again, with Smith. It says, the Lord shall bring you into Egypt again, right? with ships. So the word Egypt, it just means captivity. Because you know Moses, when he took them out of the land of Egypt, and they were doing what? They were running the body. So they're saying, I will take you out of the land of Egypt. Go ahead and read it. I'm going to read it one more time. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again uh -huh. with ships. With what? With ships. With what? With ships. Me? By the way whereof I spake unto thee, uh -huh. thou shalt see, thou shalt see it no more again. You shall not see your homeland again. Us as a nation of people, now they everybody say, go to Africa, go to Africa. But us as a nation has not collectively came together and went back to our homeland. We came over here through the way of ships. That is prophesied in the Bible. Remember, Moses said, if you do not keep the commandments, these curses shall come upon you. We already know. Inheritance is one of them. And then the way of the, uh, the slave ships coming to this side of the world from West Coast of Africa. That is prophesied in the Bible. It is not even prophesied in the Bible. We learned that in history, 1619. Right? That's when we came over here and we were sold to our what? Our enemies. We were sold to our enemies. And that's where the process of, uh, process of your inheritance was being stripped from you. Right? Read that. Just this last little bit. Read. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. Read that again. Read it. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Read. For bond men and for bond women. Bond men and bond women. Bond what, 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 who, who else went through that history? Auction blocks, one nigga, two niggas sold to Mr. Johnson. That's why I, what's your last name? Harvey. Harvey, my last name is Richardson. Those are German, those are white ass German names. That's how you know we were sold to our enemies and you were branded with that name. And now, you process of justice, you still have that name on you. That's how you know, Jeremiah 17, my inheritance is gone because of the way of the Bible. The Lord said that these things will happen to a certain group of people. And those people are the Israelites. It's in your history, your history matches up with the Bible. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Oh, my.